What kind of cyber security? What kind of websites can I use to browse the cyber security or IT security related news? In today's video, I will be giving you five different resources and telling you why you should be reading the security news regardless of what level you are at within your career. Hey, what's up guys, Grant here. Uh, a common question I get asked oftentimes is where can I read or utilize resources or websites that uh, talk about the cybersecurity or IT security related news. If you want the quick list, I would just recommend going to the description below, bookmarking all five websites and just kind of finding out which ones work for you and which ones don't. I wanna give you some reasons or reasoning behind why you should even consider reading the security news. Now, when we're talking about security news, I'm talking about any vulnerabilities that are being disclosed or data breaches, malware outbreaks, ransomware, uh, even hacker groups, for instance, all kinds of security related news that will affect an organization and could substantially alter how an organization approaches security. Even though I'm not a security expert, I can say that I think it's really important you know what's going on because some of the vulnerabilities or news that's gonna be disclosed is not necessarily gonna affect your organization, while others are going to directly affect your organization. Understanding and having awareness of what is going to affect your organization is important as a security expert. It's a great first step when you're trying to figure out what's going on within your network, things like that. But from a beginner's perspective, as I can speak from, I can tell you that it is really important actually that you read the security news. Of course, it's really important that you stay up to date with what's going on. The bigger takeaways I get from browsing the security related news actually doesn't have to be the vulnerabilities or data breaches themselves, but how malware or certain security controls, for instance, are working. Most of the articles and the websites I'll be outlining here in a minute uh, are really written in a way for the average tech user or the average reader to uh, read and understand what's going on. And I think that's really important because as a beginner, you not, may not necessarily know the underlying details behind how malware works, for instance, but these articles are written in a way that you can start to understand how malware works, what reverse engineering does. I am just using the malware as an example. There's also other examples uh, that you will be able to learn. So it's very basic. It's written in a basic way that anyone can go to these websites and understand their cybersecurity related topics. As an aspiring professional in the industry, you can actually also understand what's going on. Okay, now enough with reading the security news. I hope that you understand why I read the security news and maybe why you should as well, especially as a beginner to just kind of understand how the security works and how underlying uh, controls work in themselves. The first website I really like, and in fact, this is the most browsed website that I utilize, is Naked Security by Sophos. Sophos provides antivirus uh, solutions for enterprises and individuals like myself, uh, but they also run a column or a blog called Naked Security. Uh, this is definitely my favorite website to browse because it gives you a wide array of stories about what's going on. Anywhere from uh, dark web stories, new vulnerabilities being disclosed, data breaches, anything that really ha pertains to IT security or the IT security industry is covered within Naked Security. It's very beginner friendly and I believe the authors there provide a pretty unbiased viewpoint and they're great at explaining uh, how things work. And like I said, it's important that you find out how things work. So I highly recommend you go check out Naked Security by Sophos. Make sure to bookmark it if you are interested in being a daily user of Naked Security. The second website I utilize is Security Week. Security Week is broken up into two main sections, or the two main sections that I browse. First, we have the uh, IT security related news. These are the type of articles I go to to just understand what's being disclosed in today's news. Oftentimes, their descriptions are concise, meaning that you can just get the information and get out. And then they also have a security week expert insights. And I really like to read these because it's uh, experts who give their in input into what's going on within the industry. So I really like to understand uh, the expert's perspective of what's going on within the industry. And Security Week provides that. 
The third website is Dark Reading and uh, pertaining to Security Insights, I think Dark Reading is very good. Also at including expert insights into what is going on. I would say Dark Reading is more of expert insights with current news and what they think about what's going on with the current news. Definitely some good reads and articles if you're looking for the expert perspective of what's going on with the news. Fourth one is the Hacker News. Uh, the Hacker News covers a wide array of topics and writes a wide array of articles. You can read about anything from vulnerabilities to data breaches to cyber attacks and malware. Here at this Hacker News does a great job of covering uh, which vulnerabilities are being disclosed to the industry and covering uh, some proper security controls that you can place to uh, mitigate the vulnerabilities. So the Hacker News is a great website to browse if you are somebody who is looking for uh, vulnerabilities, uh, who are vulnerability news rather. And the fifth website I utilize is Bleeping Computer. Uh, Bleeping Computer is not just necessarily IT focused. Um, they have a latest article section where they cover topics about IT security, gaming, Google, Microsoft, all kinds of topics. They have these subtopics within their latest article section. Uh, where you can learn about the new latest Google News or Microsoft News and also have some IT security news within this website. They also offer some solutions uh, for virus removal. Uh, they cover new deals and they also have uh, a download section and some basic video tutorials where they outline how you can, for instance, open up the command prompt on Windows. So again, Bleeping Computer is not just necessarily IT security news focused, but it does provide a broadened perspective into the industry. And um, I think that they are very good at covering this kind of broadened perspective. That is it for the five resources uh, or the websites that I utilize on a weekly basis to get my security news. If you have found this video helpful and you've, if you have stayed till the end of this video, I greatly appreciate it as most of you will just get the resources and leave, which is totally fine. So thank you very much. Uh, consider subscribing if you have found this video helpful and have a good day.